One thing I want to introduce to you here, uh, of trying to create mood and atmosphere in your painting. This is where it all starts. So the last thing we want in a painting like this is you know, hard edges. It's, a, it's the softness of the subject which I'm going to try and portray. And that also helps having the red, orangey colour through here. We're also hinting at it, of course, in the sky. Now, really, it's just the remains to put the, uh, some colour on this field in the foreground. Now, as an alternative to working on site, uh, you might like to try working from a sketch. That's where the river goes around the corner, and it gives us a rather nice little dark accent. Have to remember with Canson paper that the uh, pores of the paper, or the tooth of the paper, fills up quite quickly. So you don't want to go in too heavy in the early stages. The first objective is to get as many of these darks in and the lights as we can. And all this runs downhill. Rather nice these shadows which we need to just establish at this stage. And of course the light is changing very, very quickly. So I'm just trying to stick to my original plan where I drew in a monochrome in other words. Now, we're talking about mood and atmosphere in this film. And my original painting of Paul Ware was very much warmer. But on this one, I feel, let's get a nice lot more sky in the picture for a start. And I'm going for a colour scheme here, which is cooler and greyer. There are no really hot colours in here. <clears throat> the lines of a boat are based on a figure of eight. And uh, once you get that sort of principle in your, in your head, it's a lot easier to draw them, make them look convincing. <laughs> 